Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana and got to talk about a few little changes here at the zoo. Now many of you might remember our chinchilla by the name of Flumpy. He was one of my favorite animals here at the zoo, but sadly he recently passed away. Pretty sad for us, but listen, he was tw almost 20 years old and for a chinchilla, that's like bonkers old. That's like 150 years old in human years. It's crazy. And unfortunately, old age got the best of him and he actually died from some pretty natural causes. But with, of course, the death of him means the well, some new chinchillas here. And we're pretty excited that we have two of them now here at the zoo. And they're still a little shy. They're actually kind of hanging out in this log. You're going to see their little heads poking out here. And well, they're buddies. And right now their names are, and I'm not making this up, Chi Chi and Choo Choo. I'm not sure where the names came from. Pretty cute names. But nonetheless, uh, somebody did donate them to us here at the zoo. And we're excited to, of course, work with them and have them become an ambassador animal once again for the zoo. And what's neat about these two is they're, they're significantly darker than Flumpy was. Flumpy was a very light colored gray. He had those little age spots on his ears. These ones, of course, a little younger and, of course, a little darker. Now, you remember chinchillas, what a neat animal, unbelievably soft animal, of course, because of how much fur they have. 70 hairs per follicle. That means, you know, every little hole in your arm where your pore is, you have one to two hairs coming out. These guys have 70. So you're talking about a really thick coat of fur. Of course, keeps them warm up in the mountains of South America where they're found. They, of course, have that long tail, big long tail as well, and they hop a lot like a rabbit does, although they're actually a rodent. They are not part of the rabbit family, even though a lot of people think that. And then, of course, those big giant ears help them listen. When you're a tasty little morsel like that, a lot of things like to eat you. So, of course, the better you're hearing, the better you can tell if there's a predator nearby. So, I invite you to come out here to the zoo, check these guys out in their new home, and eventually, hopefully, they may actually travel to see you, maybe in your school. And one other thing to mention, our new habitat for our Savannah Monitor. You may remember meeting the Savannah Monitor on one of my last videos. Well, he's got a new home here at the zoo, and look at how beautiful this place is. It is looking really, really good. So the best part about this guy is trying to find him. He likes to hide, so when you're at the zoo, kind of look in all the nooks and crannies, and you might be lucky enough to see him. But guys, until next time here in the Chinchilla Habitat, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy and I'll see you at the zoo.